Hey everyone, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about the microphone, the power switch, and batteries. I'm going to be doing a separate video on the batteries, but today I'd like to do a quick video about the microphone and the power switch. Now, I, ha I don't have a spare earpiece to experiment with, so I'm going to show you what could be done, and I'm going to show you the components to use. However, please try this at your own risk. So let's get started. Okay, now I have here the HBS 750 and the HBS 700. Uh, this one, this procedure will also work for the HBS 730. As you can see here on the HBS 700, we have the left side of the earpiece exposed. We have the vibration motor, the on-off switch, and this right here is the microphone. Now, if you look at the back, you'll see that this whole rubber piece is not the microphone. The microphone is actually embedded in the back. You'll see a little circle right here. If you were to cut that open, you could pull the microphone right out and this rubber piece is just a casing that goes over top. Right here are the negative and positive wires for the microphone. It hooks up just like one of the earbuds does. Um, if we were to desolder these, pull this out, we could pull this microphone out and replace it with a little replacement microphone. And if you look, it's actually the perfect size to fit right in the space where the old one was. Now this microphone right here, I actually had found inside the replacement earbuds of one of my earpieces. Well, I broke that little uh, square piece off and this was the microphone that was inside, so uh, it's my guess that most um, earbuds that have the built-in microphone along the wire, if you break them open, you'll be able to find the microphone inside. And here we have the HBS 750, which is a little different. The microphone is on the side, but it's the same concept. This one has a ribbon instead of having just wires. And if you pry this out, you'll be able to get to it, but you'll see on the back that it's the same thing. It's just the microphone that's encased inside this rubber piece, and you can cut the microphone out of this rubber piece. If you look, I'll try to get a better angle on it. On the inside of here are the positive and negative solder points. So you could pull this microphone out, desolder these two points, and use the new microphone. The colored wire would be the positive. The wire that has gold on it, or red and gold, or a color in gold, uh, will be the negative wire. And you do the same procedure as you would replacing the, uh, the earbuds. You just uh, cut the wires, you add enough solder onto the end of them to uh, create a good solder connection, and then you would solder them to the board, fit it inside the microphone piece, and I would put a piece of tape over the back or something just to keep it inside the, uh, the rubber piece here. But that should get everybody started in replacing their microphones. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a spare earpiece to try this procedure on. It's an untested procedure, so uh, again, try this at your own risk um, and uh, see how it goes. But if your microphone's already messed up, then there's not really much you can do to uh, make it any worse. Okay, now there's another issue I'd like to clear up about the power um, switch. Uh, I'm not sure if the power switch is uh, replaceable because it's the very small solder contacts. If you could find this switch on, um, I'd say eBay would be the best place to find a switch like this. Uh, a local electronic shop or RC hobby shop might have one. Um, there seems to be like seven solder points on here and 
it would be a very delicate operation to try to uh, get this power switch out. So if your power switch is bad, you might want to just consider replacing the whole board with a new one. Um, power switch is the same um, on the HBS 750. And this one, I believe, is a lot harder to get to just because of all the wires in the way. There would be a lot more involved with trying to get this uh, circuit out. So if you have some very steady hands, you could replace this. If not, I wouldn't suggest trying it. However, I would suggest first inspecting the plastic cover. These are the plastic covers for the switches. This one's for the HBS 750 and uh, I'm not sure if the camera picks it up, but there's two little tabs here that operate the switch. And this one is for the HBS 700 and 730 and you can see that there are two thin uh, tabs right here that could easily get snapped off and if these tabs get snapped off or these tabs get snapped off the on off switch is obviously not going to be depressed so this switch would just uh, slide back and forth freely so this is a good starting point to check if your power switch is just sliding back and forth freely check that your cover is not just broken because you can always remove this and just use a pin, a, a pin or a sharp object to reach in here and slide the switch back and forth. Um, and that is my video on the power switch.